All right, so uh, I rolled back to the end of the curve extraction. So right-clicked and make current. Um, and then, so here we have the original sketch. So extracting curves from a part, I find sketch to be better. But offsetting curves, I find um, just the offset on the curve command to be better. So it's kind of hard to find. Oh, here it is here under the curves. So most of this stuff here on the curves, uh, what's that called, ribbon, is sketch free. So you, it's almost like 3D sketches or old, old wireframe design. So if you don't access this area that's sketch, the rest of it is curves. So these three items here are curves, um, just in 3D space. They happen to be on a plane because they were extracted from a sketch that's on a plane. Otherwise, they could float anywhere in space, and they're separate. So I put them on their own layer, and while I was rolled back, since I kind of rushed through this the first time, I'm just organizing while I'm doing this so that as I'm investigating what to do it's a little easier to show and hide so I'm just moving the datums to the uh, default datums layer I don't really care what layer they go on I guess this one would go there too okay so I can so that I can keep everything on the same plane I'm going to create a new sketch as I was looking at this because I can't I don't want to redo the offset curves and I don't want to add the um, support bars in using regular curves because it's not as e easy to dimension where they're at in space. Um, you're just doing it relative to the absolute. You can't use the dimension function. So I decided I want those extracted offset curves onto a sketch and then I will add the bars and put everything on one sketch and then that will be sent to Waterjet. So I'm going to start, uh, maybe I'll put this one on a sketch uh, layer. And um, since these are on 41, I'll make the new one 42. So now I'm on work layer 42, so anything I do right now will be on that layer. I'm going to do sketch and task. Uh, sorry, one thing I skipped. So I was investigating how, what plane this sketch was put on. Um, so what I did for that was... Uh, in the edit command of that sketch I went to reattach and initially when the stock was hidden um, normally I put sketches on planes sometimes I put them on faces uh, planes are a little more stable but being on a face is nice if you're not going to delete it because if it moves the sketch should move but anyway when the stock was hidden I couldn't see what this datum was coming from um, because it doesn't tell you whether it's a face and what the face ID is. Um, one way I could tell also was by highlighting it. I saw that it highlighted the um, box, composite curve, and body as uh, parents. And so I didn't see any datum planes as parents. So I was like, oh, okay, it must be the box. And then I uh, clicked show on the box, and then I could see that that original sketch was laying on that plane. So now that I know what plane it's on, I can use that same face for a new sketch. And so now I'm just going to pick the top face, say OK. And then I locked my 3D mouse to uh, 2D. Every time I go into a sketch, I try to do that right away because as you enter the sketch command, it orients it normal to a sketch plane. And then I'll start with uh, rectangle. Um, and actually, as I'm thinking about it, I could start with centering rectangle. That way I could start with a line. Um, I drug it past because sometimes when it does a coincident, it goes away from horizontal. Uh, just a quick explanation there. Oh, the, oh, I know why I did that. Okay, so the first thing I need to do, sorry for skipping ahead, is project a curve from these curves to bring them basically a copy of them 
onto this sketch so that I can edit them. And now I can hide those original curves and that's why I put this new one on 42. All right, so now we have curves on this sketch and uh, I'm gonna do a line. Um, last time I didn't do this, but I'm gonna do a line to uh, use as a centering dimension. So I'm gonna make it construction or reference. And then I'm going to trim it. Uh, actually, I don't need to trim it. So I'm going to leave it and <laughs> dimension from there to center, which is X. And uh, five, I think I was going to do 5.6. Cause that's a little bit beyond center, maybe even uh, 5.75. All right, um, and then if I wanted, I, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and mirror that to the other side. Use X again. X is the coordinates of the sketch coordinates. Um, the reason it is that is because, well, I didn't re-click that, but that was the last thing I did, so it was already there. But if you project work, work part origin, it's going to be in the same place as the absolute possibly the WCS. All right, so we've got those uh, center lines that will control our location of the rectangle because I'm going to use the center from center rectangle. So now I can pick on that line, drag beyond, that's a little too far. Start again, start about here. There we go, and drag it out and then dimension it. So it's already a, a center of the rectangle is already associated to that center line. And then because this is going to end up being offset and you had yours about two inch, I figured I'd undersize it. Um, actually, no, these curves are already offset, so I don't need to make this undersized because I'm not going to re-offset. So I'll do two inch. And now it didn't stay centered. That's interesting. All right, that's okay. Um, I can make these endpoints of that construction line a midpoint of the rectangle, and that centers it. Okay, um, other than that, I could do that to the other side and then trim, <coughs> but I'll just go ahead and trim this side and then draw the other side. Um, <coughs> I could mirror first. Last time I mirrored it didn't work out on the other side, but I'll try it again. Uh, yeah, I drew it big enough that it will work on both sides. Um, <coughs> wish I could make it non-associative. <coughs> we'll see what happens when I trim it. Yeah, this is, yeah, so this is what happened last time. Um, so it, <laughs> when it, it's tracking the mirroring, so let me back up far enough that it's beyond the lines there uh, to there, and then I'll undo the mirroring which I don't know which one. I'll just get rid of both. And now the, it's a separate, it's not connected. So it saved me some time and I can reassociate the midpoint and even to mention it now that it's not uh, driven from the other mirror. All right, so now I can trim either side. And so that side's trimmed. Uh, 
Whoops. Back up one. And bowl oh, that should be it. Alright. Now if I say finish those curves are good. Um I don't have to even roll to the end to uh let's see new curves for all right um I don't have to roll forward i I probably will hide everything but the uh curves so I'll make um just unclick or click all and then click again and everything should hide. I'd actually like to hide the those Oops. uh hi all right try that there we go. Oh, that's weird all right well not sure if i can control let's see uh, i guess i can not choose those when i export okay so now i'm just going to snap to the top plane and export these export I, I don't know whether they want DXF or DWG, so I do both. Um, displayed part, so DXF first. This is fine. I probably already have that one there. So I'll just overwrite. And now I should probably call it R1. All right. And next, and then the next one that um it will pick the objects this is where it becomes kind of a pain uh when you trim it leaves like extra curves reference curves underneath which is stupid <laughs> so you kind of have to use that select other All right, um, and then so one thing I found is you can't use work view. Um, so I select a view and say top because it exported it weird. And then uh, from there I just say finish. Uh, continue. And then do it again for the others uh, type. So what uh, DWG? Wait, wait for it. Wait for it. All right. Uh, yep. DWG. <coughs> Long pause long pause why I should hide those other ones ah whatever of course it would always be the second one right And that be it.